Hi, everyone. Uh, nice to meet you today. Uh, my name is Fei Huang. Uh, I came from SUSE security team. Uh, so today, my topic is about Kubernetes is a perfect platform for enforcing zero trust security. Let's get started. So let's use the famous log4j vulnerability as an example. I think everybody, everybody knows that. Uh, first, the log4j CVE was discovered on November 2021. Only one week after that, right, there's a real world exploit attempt was reported. And then, of course, the patch was released a few weeks later. In the next few weeks and months, we keep seeing new patches uh, published. But at the same time, new related CVE are also reported. So for the companies, I mean, we have a lot of clients, customers. They have to keep patching their applications, keep waiting for the new patches, right? So this whole process takes a few weeks or months or even more. I think yesterday Brian mentioned there's a CVE not being patched after 15 years. That's kind of crazy. So we all obviously we all understand this is a chasing game. We call this reactive security model. So we have to scan, monitor, detect, respond based on the real incidents. We have to keep waiting for the new patches. This is working, but I don't think it's efficient. I don't think it's enough, right? So uh, how about the CVE that without a fix? How about, you know, can we prevent log4j like critical security issues even before it's being discovered? Uh, the answer is yes. Please think about this. How about we can detect the attack at the network entry point even before it hits the real application? How about we can block the command and control links at real time? And we can block any suspicious process or file system access. You know, because this is a never seen process before. It could be a remote code execution, it could be a crypto miner. And the idea is we should minimize the attacking surface, right, at the runtime, and we should lock down the behavior of every running pod. So we call all those good functions proactive security model or zero trust security controls. So why Kubernetes is the perfect platform for this new security model? Uh, let's use a real workflow, think about that. Uh, see, a developer could define the security manifest into a YAML file. He can even define the application runtime file work policy into the YAML file as well because the developers is the only person know how this container gonna talk, gonna communicate in the runtime. So those information can be checked into the Git repository, same as their source code, right? And then the build pipeline gonna carry it over all the way to the running uh, clusters. Through the new vector-like solutions, we will be able to pick up those security manifestors, also the policies directly from Kubernetes at the runtime then federated the policy out, enforce it right away. The beauty is this whole process can be fully automated. You know, I mean, you can see that a Kubernetes does make a security solution much smoother, much stronger, and much better. That's, that's why. So I would like to use two real customer profiles to emphasize runtime zero trust security control is very important. Uh, a customer which is a Fortune 200 enterprise, another one is a fully SaaS-based uh, financial service uh, online bank, right? Interestingly, they all run their containers in multiple complicated cloud environment. They have, you know, uh, cloud, uh, hybrid cloud, multiple cloud, uh, on-prem or even on -ga uh, air-gapped environment. So it does require security to be managed, scaled the same way. So the multi-cluster federation and also the uh, security management is, is needs to be supported. Another strong requirement is, you know, those applications uh, in production are mission critical. Uh, basically, you know, that's company's most important assets. It does require, you know, they have a strong runtime pr uh, protection in place. So they use zero trust runtime protection 
uh, with security automation in place to make sure it's not slowing down the DevOps process. And uh, there's also compliance requirements in, in the play, right? Uh, for the, uh, those mission critical you know, workloads, there are all kinds of compliance requirements in different countries, different industries. So to satisfy that, they use the layer seven uh, container firewall with WAF and DRP enabled, which does help them to pass auditing from, for example, SOC 2, PCI DSS, or HIPAA. So due to the time limitation today, I mean, I can only highlight a few things about uh, zero trust for Kubernetes. For more details, please feel free to stop by our booth at the Solution Showcase. We also have a free ebook uh, from this QR code uh, you can download. So that's my presentation today, and uh, thanks, everyone. Okay.